Yeah. He beat me up last night. He ain't cheap like I am. Oh. For over two weeks. Really, really bad. Horrible. I mean, you know, my mom and I just killed me because she threw me up against the wall in 2006. But that was because I remember me not allowing to remember any abuse that an abuser gives you. And they attack you with how that works. That's what happened there. With, uh, you know, you're supposed to be nice. There's just too many apples out there. And so, basically, you need hair to play. Uh, it's really, really, really fucking today. And I'm real surprised me that, you know, my mom, he did have an abuse me in 2006 and leave me here much. Um, we went out to Walmart today, um, I guess, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not going to listen to somebody that's not talking. Um, Walmart's not like it was like a year ago when I was. So like, it's a little, it's very sad. It's kind of creepy that, you know, you don't have like all the advertisements of the, what they sold where the cash, the cash registers are. <laughs> they, like, have these aisles, like, gone. They used to have, like, a little bit of candy, maybe you can buy, you know, candy goods that are on discount. No candy goods on discount. I mean, but, yeah, the economy was in there. Toilet, like, in 2008, that was... Can you get me on um, David Letterman? No. That was just... Sad. You know, I, I go into a store that's supposed to be whatever stocked up, and then I find out, oh, okay, wow, okay, this is like, oh, whatever. And I had to do this getaway from my uh, asshole boyfriend. And did you know that Bob Dylan made a domestic violence song? Oh, I don't know. He's dead. He did make a, the national anthem. Everyone should get sick. Uh, but the, the one that, that he, my friend had, I, I, I never would have known about it. Um, it was, um, please curl out your window. Your hands and legs, they won't ruin you. How can you say that he won't haunt you? You can go back to him anytime that you want to. But that's him abusing you. And then, and then he does the music. Pow, pow, pow. He's just, he's just so righteous. Why are your faces so bruised? And then he, he talks about his friends. Well, his friends. Their religion is belittling women. Put that in your news when your face is so bruised. This is his work. And, uh, yeah, I, I, um, I just have to get away from my boyfriend to do something with my life. I mean, I, this is what I My situation, like, then, I mean, I was, you know, certainly an asshole. I was looking for a fucking year. Sorry, I didn't do a fucking shit. Like, what the hell? I don't know. But I'm, like, totally frustrated. Right, you know, I probably, the best thing for me is not to get over there for a fucking day. Give him a good pilot. The best way to leave the asshole is talk to his landlord and just um I have like video tapes on there. About forty. Just grab them all while he's he has a church meal. That's how fucking pathetic he is. <laughs> he gets a little bit of money from inheritance supposedly, but I, I believe that he gets a crazy check. 
uh, all I have to do is, well, I guess, uh, like, a church meal tomorrow, and it's landlords there. Just gotta get my videotapes. They're mine. Fuck okay. him. He's, he's just too weird. Um, if an individual does not want to be with you, then you should make them be with you, but there's too many crazy people out there. There's too many crazy women and guys. I'm just really straight out. Uh, you don't owe anybody anything. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I met, I said that to him like eight months ago, but I met this girl, Stephanie Johnston, and she took me to Chameleon one time. She did not have to pay to go in because she knew the names of the owners. And she knew the name. She knew all that. She knew all the history. She was, she was able to talk to the, the individual at the door to tell this individual, oh, this is the person who started the business, and then and then this is the person who had the business, and he ended up letting us in the door just because, you know, she's like, you know, she's maybe some lost individual or whatever, but just because she knew that information, just, it's all who you know, it's just very weird. But I actually do have $20 that I would give to the, I don't know, just because, I don't know. I'm not, um, I said to listen to the CD and find it. I really respected these individuals that they had their CD, and then my situation was too complicated that I didn't have time to listen to the CD because uh, my asshole friend of the street wouldn't listen to that type of CD. He listened to jazz and Beatles, something. He doesn't listen to, I don't know, it's just, there's too many weird people out there. Yeah, that's encouragement to me to go there um, on Friday. I think it was at 8, but you say 9, and they say 9 right there. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, so then maybe the door's open. Somewhere, other... somewhere around 8 or 9. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Right. Just have my 7 bucks in my hand right now. <laughs> Don't have my boyfriend steal my 7 bucks. Whatever the fuck you must have. Well, the only thing I really hate about him was he, well, a lot, yeah, yeah, you probably know what I'm saying. But, um, he plainly always took care of me, and he gives the fucking church wise, and then he fucking money and make it through the fucking mouth. How the hell can you say that you take care of your girlfriend, and you go to the church line and put you... Alright, I'm going to make it. Do you guys have a computer or something? Um, yeah. Can I pay to use it? Oh, uh, I, they're not my computer and they're not home. Wow, is that maybe a possibility for the, the lady of the house? Like, uh, I'm not sure, she's not home or... Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, her name's, um, Janice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's not home. And, that's really bizarre. I, um, it was like a week ago, there was a, a guy in the street, and I, I just was like, oh, you have a computer, and he, he just got out of jail. I was like, oh, my mom, my mom's somewhere else. And his girlfriend hooked up with him right when I fucking paid him to go on his fucking computer. Yeah, his girlfriend's hooking up with him. And he's like, well, I don't go up with anybody white. I just go. He's like a gorgeous, like, 18 year old. I don't want to say about going on them or anything, but, you know, I just happened to talk to him. I just wanted to. And that's kind of where I got. Yeah. To be bold, to ask for, you know, to be the person's computer. 
It was very embarrassing when he took pictures of my uh, rotted teeth and my glasses that were broken with my t-shirt. I mean, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm a good. I guess, uh, I'm not going to go to my, what the fuck do you want to call him, forced one boyfriend's house. That's what the fuck he is. He forced me to be with him, so he's a forced on boyfriend. He's a fucking asshole. And what the hell did he benefit me? Nothing. He's a piece of shit. But, I, I don't know. Hey, um, um, thanks for listening to me. Uh, I don't know. I can use that computer for a half hour down there, down the street. Really? Yeah. It's uh, Western Union on King Street. So I'm going to use it for a half hour. Um, yes, we do. Yes, sir.